But look at all the scuffy wuffies, you guys. And this still sold for $246.94 with the scuffy wuffies. Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. Are you guys ready for some big money bolos? All right, in this video, I am going to be featuring the Funky Pickle Thrifter. She is so close to 10,000 subscribers, you guys, and she only has 335 videos. Oh my goodness. She is absolutely incredible. She has amazing, amazing what sold videos. You've got to go check it out. But most importantly, if you want to learn more about jewelry, she is a wealth of knowledge. So check out her channel. Give her a subscribe. I was going to say give her a follow, but give her a sub. Show her some love with a sub, guys. And... um. I think you will find that she is pretty fantastic. You're going to love her. All right. So let's get started with her bolos. And this is her store, the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Or, I'm sorry, the Funky Pickle Store. I wanted to say her YouTube channel. But you can see she does have a wide variety of items. This is not going to be just jewelry in this video. She has great titles. She has great photos. Go study her store. She is fantastic. Look at it. It's just fantastic. She is um, really, really uh, a knowledgeable reseller. She's got a lot of knowledge under her belt. So go check her out, guys. Check out her store down below. You can click on the saved seller heart and that will follow her store. All right. So the first item is these antique... B&W Art Deco Blue Cufflinks from the 1920s. Vintage Snap. And it says, Come Apart Bear Wild. Bar Wild? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. See, look at all those amazing cute words. How many times have I had something like this at my whatnot show? And I'm like, um, I don't know what this is. Similar styles. They're just different. And I, I would not know how to put a great title on the item. I wouldn't know how to date it. I just don't know that stuff. And that's why I bring almost all of my jewelry over to Whatnot. So if you're not following me on Whatnot, definitely check me out over there. There's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop when you join Whatnot. And I sell tons of jewelry over there. But I just got in a bag full of vintage men's stuff like this. So I don't know what's in there, but we're going to find out over on a future show. So she said these were part of the same antique auction cufflink box lot that I have been steadily selling. I love selling them because each pair is unique and pretty and they are small, so easy to store and ship. All right, the next item. I cannot believe that this only sold for $39.99. This item is incredible. It's a pretty old pawn bear paw, Navajo, sterling silver, and turquoise mother of pearl bolo tie. Oh my goodness. Is this stunning or what? Look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful. I would have thought that would have went for so much more. I found this at a local thrift store, paid eight for it. The sterling silver mark was hard to spot, but it was there. So I could tell it was sterling for sure. The mark was tucked behind the leather strap part. So I think that's how it slipped past the thrift store people. A lucky find. And you can see right here, she showed it. Where did it go? It was under the strap right there. So with this down, you don't really see it. All right, there you have it. Always look, guys. Always look. Lot of nine rare beaded Alex and Ani wire wrap bracelets. 66. I'm not sure what the 66 means. Maybe that's the style of the beaded ones. Alex and Ani is um, a brand that I'm definitely familiar with. I have not seen the beaded ones either. So I will definitely be on the lookout for those. She said $28 is what they sold for. She said, I took a best offer on this lot. I paid 15 for these bracelets and some others that I already sold. Alex and Ani doesn't usually sell for much, but I bought these because 
They are the 66 line or beaded bracelets that I don't usually find. Okay. So the beaded ones are the 66 line. So that's great information. Vintage Saworski, and I probably said that wrong, Swan Baguettes Gold Filled Bangle Bracelet. Do you see the swan? Right down there, that is the classic symbol for the Saworski, <laughs> I can't say it, brand. Look at this stunning, stunning bracelet. Oh, she sold this for $44. She said, I found this at a local thrift store for $1. The quality of this was striking. Looked like real gold and diamonds. There is a swan inside, which denotes that it is a Saworski that's another brand that can do well. And lots of people don't know about the swan thing. Pretty bracelet that I actually knew about. Can you guys believe it? I actually knew about the swan. I'm learning. I'm learning. All right, here we go. This one is Innis Energy of the Sea Ocean Gift Pack Cologne Spray Body Lotion and Greeting Cards. And this is... Paid $3 for this set at a thrift store. Sold it for $39.99 and the buyer paid shipping. She said, I have sold this name before and think it, it is or was sold on QVC. It would have sold for more, but the box had some handling wear, which of course I disclosed in the description. Still happy with the profit. So what'd she pay for it? Three into 40? That's fantastic. Pink. Pink. Is this Victoria's Secret pink? No. Huh. Pink. Beautiful trauma world tour. So is pink the band? I don't know. World tour medium hoodie 2019. $39.99 is what it sold for. She got it at the local thrift for $5. She said, I love buying concert items from big artists like Pink. <laughs> See, I didn't even know. I've never even heard of the band. Oh my goodness. Uh, Pink. Have you guys heard of the band Pink? No clue. She said they seem to sell really fast and this one was no exception. New with tags, or I'm sorry, new. Sterling Silver Irish Charm Bracelet. My Irish Jeweler Green CZ Shamrock. And let me get you some uh, close-ups of this beauty. So it's not with tags, but it's in the original packaging there. How pretty is that? She said, bought this pretty Irish bracelet at the Goodwill a few years back and paid 30 for two bracelets. I sold the other one, which was similar a while back for 70. So this one is pure profit. Sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. Look at this. Pretty, pretty. And it has the original box as well. And J. King multicolor stone necklace with dangle earrings. DRT. I'm not sure what DRT stands for. Mine finds silver. $49.99 is what she sold this for. She said, I got this pretty necklace and earring set as part of an antiques auction box lot and have made all my money back at this point. They were signed DRT. Okay, that's what they were signed which stands for Desert Rose Trading. That is a name that usually sells well for me. Okay, there you have it. Now we know what it means. Antique lot of four, 1905 Boston Globe Sunday Supplement Horse, Tiger, Elephant, and Lion. So I'm not or completely sure what these are. Are they just um, little prints? First, I thought they were postcards. I don't know what you do with them. I guess some type of ephemera? I have no idea. Well, let's see if she tells us. I stepped out of my lane a bit on these. I bought a paper doll lot from an antique auction and think I paid 20 for the whole lot, making a nice profit on some of them, including this set of four old things in excellent condition. Part of the reason I bought the lot, even though I'm not a paper doll expert, is because some of them were very old. They were colorful and pretty, and they were all uncut and in excellent condition. So is it a paper doll? Cutting key. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like a paper doll. See how it has the right here? Interesting. Now, the person buying this is going to know what it is, obviously, but I doubt anybody's going to cut this at this point. 
just an amazing um, piece of history right there. She sold those for $49.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Joe Maz butterfly brooch pin, colorful rhinestones, signed estate piece. And this is what it looks like. And she got this for $2 at a thrift store. Surprising because they had just brought out a box of jewelry from the back. And the lady who worked there was actually grabbing the jewelry to buy for herself before I could even look at it. I recognized this piece as soon as I saw it. Jomaz is another great jewelry brand to look for. And people love collecting butterfly jewelry. $45 this sold for. The next item here is this set of two JCPenney valances. And these are vintage. She said, I think I paid 10 for four packages of these at a thrift store last year. I like to buy sheets, curtains, if they look pretty and are new in package. These were a lucky find because I kept two for myself and put them out. I'm sorry, put them on our front picture window. So the purchase was a win-win. Often companies like Ralph Lauren, Pottery Barn, Pennies, etc. will discontinue patterns. So these can be great money makers. $39.99. Yes, she is correct. Discontinued patterns and prints can definitely be big money. This is a pretty 925 sterling silver mesh chevron chain bracelet. And she's got the length and the grams. And here you can see it's signed. Look how pretty this is. She has, look at that photo. That is beautiful. That is so pretty. Uh, $49.99 is what she sold it for. This heavy sterling silver bracelet was a yard sale find way back. Paid a dollar or two. I find sterling pretty often at yard sales and will usually buy it if it's a dollar or two unless it feels fake or like poor quality. This was gorgeous though. I was keeping it to wear but didn't do so very often so decided to sell it. I want to find sterling silver for a dollar or two. That's incredible. Wow. Vintage purse, 1920s, 1930s, brass, copper, art deco, metal handbag, chain, flower, and lily. And I will say that I have found that over the years, jewelry just keeps going up. And I think it's a lot because people are just really into costume jewelry right now, it seems. And sterling and gold, you know, each year, it seems like there's an increase in what it's worth just to scrap it out. But the sad thing is, is so much jewelry gets scrapped that's beautiful and we lose like that vintage and antique uh, items because people scrap things. I know um, my husband loves old watches and so many of them get scrapped and then people use like the watch parts to uh, make jewelry and stuff like that, which a lot of that jewelry is really, really great. But I feel like personally, being that my husband loves old watches, that if you can save something that is vintage and antique and sell it as a piece of jewelry, I just save the vintage. Save it, guys. Save it. Um, don't scrap it. Don't scrap it. That's just a personal opinion. Um, you guys can let me know how you feel about that in the comments. Are you just somebody who's taking it to a scrapper or are you going to try to sell it for more on eBay or another platform by keeping it as a beautiful vintage or antique piece? Even if it has a broken clasp, even if it has some damage to it, there are some people that really, really just want that vintage and antique stuff, just like this handbag. How incredible is this? You know, it's just awesome. She sold this for 50. It is a vintage copper and copper and brass art deco metal handbag. This is rad. Check it out. Wow. Now that is definitely cool. This purse was sitting on top of a jewelry box lot at an antique auction. I think I paid 40 for the whole lot and knew I would make my money just on this old purse, which I did. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. That is a cool piece. Oh, look at the owls. Four Pier 1 Moscow Mule Owl Mug, copper color and stainless. New with tags. Found this, <coughs> excuse me. Found this set all new in the box for $5 at a thrift store. Pier 1 can sell well, especially since they closed their stores. I figured these would sell for sure because they were cool looking and featured an owl motif. 
Mod is that how I say that? <laughs> I'm guessing that is another word for design. I think the Moscow Mule trend is going strong too. There you go. $49.99 on those. New goalie gloves, GK12 Pro Gloves, size 10. Alien German latex, uh, new in package. Now, she did take a best offer of 20 on these. And she said, I got a few of these at a local thrift store for $2 each. Totally out of my lane with these, but thought I would take a chance since they looked high quality and were all new. So not probably as good as she had hoped. She had them listed for $49.99 plus shipping. But sometimes you just got to move that inventory and take the profit. Two into 20 is still fantastic. Lovely David Seagull, Seagull necklace, heart pendant, sterling silver, 925 smoky quartz. She took a best offer of 60 on this beautiful necklace. Let me uh, show you the little bag and some details of this. It's always nice when you get the bag, you know, and you've got that extra make it look super fancy with the bag. I mean, it looks so much more fancy with the bag. Took a best offer on this. It's another one from an in-person antique auction. Made all my money back on this box lot for sure. I think this was a QVC or HSN necklace. Sometimes they can sell well. Yeah, there's collectors out there for QVC items. There definitely are. This is a vintage Chinese cloisonne necklace, pink flowers, beads, gold tone, hand knotted. You guys, I think I have a necklace very similar to this. Very, very similar. And I've been hanging on to it because I did not have good keywords. And I bought it a long, long time ago in a box lot of jewelry from Donatella over Donatella Bottolino over on YouTube. And Donatella is now on Whatnot selling jewelry and everything from this and that. So check her out over there as well. She said, I think this was part, she took a best, nope, I'm sorry, it sold for 68. I think this was part of a jewelry box lot from an antique auction. Already made my money on the box, I believe. So pure profit. I feel like cloisonne jewelry doesn't really get what it should unless it's one of these old beaded necklaces. The fact that it was hand knotted was a good sign and it was beautiful. Yeah, I love cloisonne. I just think it is so beautiful. Just the detail work on it. Look at that. <laughs> okay, this item, I, I just, I can't even take it right now. Unusual denture teeth ring. You guys, get out. It's a dentures ring. Look what she sold it for. $75. Are you kidding me? $75 for this. Oh, wow. She says, isn't this ring a blast? Yes, it is. I got this on Etsy a few years back. Can't remember what I paid, but I bought two of them. So decided to let one go. Wasn't sure if anybody would be wacky enough like me to want to wear it, but it sold right away. Sometimes weird sells. It sure does. Love that one. Vintage Napier gold tone, large bracelet, rare ancient coin motif motif statement eight inch there's that word again i'm gonna have to google that and see exactly what the definition is or i probably won't get around to it so if anybody wants to enlighten me and anybody else that doesn't know down in the comments that would be amazing took a best offer on this very pretty bracelet that i paid a dollar for at a church parking lot sale i like to buy napier jewelry but only if it's special looking um ancient coin charm bracelet was this one was she said let's check it out Check it out. There you go. Antique black and white art deco purple or no wait B and W. That's not black and white. Is B and W the brand? Yes, that's the brand. Sorry guys. Um, purple cufflinks, nineteen twenties. These are another come apart bear wild. Um, and again, they're marked right on the back, so that makes it really easy to know what to put in your title. But she also, oh, yep, B&W. And then it's got a patent of nine, is that? Uh, I thought it was a date, but no, I think that's the patent number. Very, very cool I, item. I don't know if the patent number helps you date it, 
Can you use a patent number to go in and date something? If anybody knows, let me know. These sold for a best offer of 40. I took a best offer on these. I paid 95 for several hundred pairs of cufflinks at an antique auction a couple years ago. They are great little money makers. I am in the profit by over, I'm sorry, about a hundred, no, about a thousand on this cufflink collection with many more left to sell. CCM Buffalo Sabras jersey, extra large, sold it for 60. Here is yet another clothing item that I bought for $5. It seemed particularly interesting because it was autographed by number three, James Patrick, one of their players. I thought since it was signed, it would be, it would have sold for more, but not complaining. Nice profit. Let's see where it's signed. There it is. Deb Guyot spinner ring. Herkimer quartz with box retails for 150 HSN. So this is an HSN. So does the ring spin? Oh, how cute is that? Excellent with no issues. This ring was part of an in-person antique auction box lot. I know I am in the profit for this box lot already. Interestingly, um, Herkimer quartz stones are referred to as Herkimer diamonds, though they are not diamonds. They are found in Herkimer, New York. Huh. See, she's got all kinds of jewelry info for you. Vintage 925. Ah. <laughs> Byzantine? Byzantine? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Graduated link sterling silver necklace. Look at that bad boy. That is something right there. That is stunning. Look at her photos, guys. It's fantastic. This was an old yard sale find. I paid two for it back in the day. It was heavy and wide with a pretty pattern. By Byzantine tine pattern is a good thing to look for as it looks ornate and complicated really eye-catching so that's the pattern uh binghampton binghampton senators stitched a a a h l hockey jersey that is a tongue twister this was an old yard sale fine paid two dollars for it back in the day oh nope i read the wrong one i apologize Sold this for $88 on auction. I bought this at the same thrift store where I found the black sweatshirt. Paid five. I quickly Google searched at the thrift store and noticed that this team in particular sells well. I think the team may be defunct. Not sure. Defunct. But great little profit. I don't usually mess with sports team stuff, but since it was a lesser known team, I took a chance. Never heard of the Senators. Rare vintage Lee Stein Paris teapot brooch iridescent, marbleized, great key words. And you can see the signature is right there. And this one, she said, I got this pretty celluloid brooch from a woman who collected Lee Stein jewelry in the 70s and 80s. I bought out her entire collection and am ready, already in the money. So this one was pure profit. Also, I have lots of them left to sell and keep. So this sold for $99.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Yes, she likes to keep jewelry also. So she collects as well as sells. I think she's one of those where you keep it for a while, you use it, you love it, and then you decide, okay, I think I'm going to get rid of it. Um, but I could be wrong. I'm just speculating. Kith for Rocky million to one crew neck sweatshirt size extra large. This was a thrift store fine, paid five for it. I'm not a clothing buyer usually, but there was something high quality about the look and feel of this. I could tell as I was going through the clothing that this one was special. I was thinking too about the Rocky tie-in since it's such an iconic film. There you go, $99.99. Vintage Uncle Sam blow mold. Yes, anytime you can find vintage blow molds, they are a nice bolo. They are a pain to ship. I will say that $49.99 plus shipping on this one, at least for me, I don't like shipping things like big things. So um, it's not that it's hard. It's just time consuming and I don't enjoy it. Does that make sense? I know a lot of people have no problem at all selling big items and they make huge profits on those big items. 
This was a yard sale find, paid five for it. Not fun to ship, but a pretty good profit. Yay! She agrees with me, but she also sells small things. So um, I get it. Not fun to ship at all. Vintage original by Robert. Brooch and earrings, rhinestone, beautiful signed Demi. So it is a set here. I got this at a sort of high-end vintage clothing shop by my house. They occasionally sell jewelry. I think I paid $25 for the set. When there are two matching pieces, it is called a Demi Peru. I probably am saying that wrong. P-A-R-U-R-E. That's why I have the word Demi in the title. When three or more matching pieces, it is a Peru or a set. Original by Robert is great. Not so easily found name brand. Let's see. Look at all that detail, guys. Wow. Beautiful. And then you can see right here, she showed that there was a defect. The next item is this rare vintage Assessor Craft, Assesso Craft, 1941 Balloon Man, whimsical novelty enamel brooch. How many of you would have looked at this and just passed by it? Let me know in the comments. And I know a lot of times at my whatnot jewelry sales, I always say these faux pearls, they always have scuffy wuffies that's what i call them scuffy wuffies on the faux pearls and i always mention it and the scuffy wuffies they they always catch my eye and i always want to tell people about the scuffy wuffies because i just want to make sure people know but look at all the scuffy wuffies you guys and this still sold for 246 dollars 94 with the scuffy wuffies <laughs> <laughs> she said, I paid 35, I think, for this at an antique mall. I have a YouTube video of me finding it, actually. Um, Assesso Craft is always worth a second look. Some of their items sell really well. This had lots of the things I look for in old jewelry. It was colorful, quirky, vintage, designer signed, and in great condition. Nautical solid 14 karat gold bracelet, sea fish star shell. 6.8 grams, not scrap. All right. So here is another example of what somebody may say, oh, it's gold. I'm going to take it to a place that has I buy gold and this beautiful piece would be lost and melted down. So sad. So, so sad. So save the vintage, save the vintage. It will sell, guys. It will sell. And it's probably going to sell for more than scrap. You're just going to have to be a little bit patient. $275. Uh, best offer is what she took for it. She said, I accepted a best offer on this. I got this little baggie of junk jewelry at a small thrift store. It was all the way at the bottom of the bag, which I almost didn't buy because it looked so junky. Got it home and could not believe it. A lucky find. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Actually, let's go back over here and showcase her um, YouTube channel. Look at all these great, great videos. And you want to learn about jewelry? Check her out. She's got lots and lots of jewelry. All right. She also has shows where she uh, sells. So check her out. And she knows her stuff. It won't be like me where I'm like, I don't know what this is. I don't know. But it's pretty. Uh, yeah. And check her out. All right. And also, remember, if you click on Save Seller, you're going to get notifications when they list new items. You're also going to get notifications uh, if they run a sale or something like that. So really, really important to follow sellers that you like or learn from on eBay. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Both of her links are down in the description of the video. She's so close to 10,000 subscribers. Let me know in the comments if you went and subscribed to her. If you go and watch one of her videos, put in the comments, Bolo Buddies sent me or something like that. So she knows you came from this video. It's always great to show appreciation for those who take the time to send me this big old list of all the information for this video. That takes a lot of time and effort and it really, really helps all of us learn. So uh, show them some love with a sub. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.